Let's talk about an upcoming event you have. <laughs> Why you guys share a little bit. Let's talk about that. I think you'd be very interested in people in West Michigan that may sure. not even be Roman Catholic. Right. Find out what is happening coming up in, is it October 9th? October 9th. All right, so what is going on at Sacred Heart we want to share with West Michigan? Sure, so October 9th, um, Sacred Heart Ch Church here in Grand Rapids uh, will be the host site for the U.S. tour of the um, bones of St. Jude the Apostle. So um, his bones are kept in Rome and have been there since, well, since they were moved there by Constantine. Oh my um, goodness. So, so they've never left Rome. And this particular relic is um, the bone from his arm. Uh, and so we will be the host site for anyone that wants to come and, and see this uh, relic. Um, so how will that work? Is it gonna be in, in it's not gonna it's, be on the old? It's pretty exciting. It's actually in a, in a what's called a reliquy. Okay. It's it's a uh, it's something that actually holds the object. This um, is a few hundred year old reliquary. It was hand carved. It's of an an arm mm -hmm. that you can actually see in like a little window where the bone is in, um, and the the hand looks like what you'd see from really classic Christian iconography of a priest or a bishop blessing. If you remember, Jude was uh, he was ordained by Christ. Right. And was one of the 12 apostles. I just can't believe and it. When I talked, when you were sharing this with me on the phone, and I was kind of like, oh, okay, great. And you're like, no, St. Jude, yes. the apostle so, from Christ. I yes. went, oh, yes. oh. <laughs> that, so I think like, <laughs> what's really unique about it is the universality. So if you're a non-believer, but you're just interested in history, and you're interested in things that you would find unique in a museum, the fact that a bone from an apostle of this size will be here in West Michigan, it's extremely unique. It's a priceless piece right. of historical artifact. So anyone that just has an interest in that can come and see it. I think from um, the Christian perspective, from those that aren't Catholic or of Eastern Orthodox or Eastern Catholics, there's still an interest from the sense that this belongs, this is, this is an apostle. Correct. You know, um, yes. you think of like Ezekiel and the dry bones. There will be a day when that that bone resurrects. Okay, so it's and one day. It's from ten. It's one to day. Ten to yes. nine. It is from one p.m. in the afternoon. That's when the doors open. Okay. Anyone can come. We'll have plenty of people there giving direction and ushering people to make sure everyone can come through and okay. and see the relic. Um, venerate the relic. Uh, there will be access for handicap in the church. It's clearly marked with people helping um, handicap people and elderly people that have a hard time moving will be given the middle aisle. They can stay with the relic as long as they need to. Um, what do you think the Vatican, uh, you know, what do you think the Vatican was looking for to release this or mm -hmm. to the public? Come to you know America. Go do the tour. Are they looking forward to re for well, some revival it's a, or? Well, it's I'm a, looking for a miracle. Sure, I it's a, I won't kid you. It's an ancient <laughs> form of piety among Christians. So if we we go to the book of the Acts of the Apostles. Uh, there's a reference in the Acts of the Apostles when Paul went around preaching. The early Christians would take off and rip some of his clothing, and then they would go to their own town with the relic of Paul's clothing, just his clothing. Right. And they would lay it on the sick, and the sick would be healed. That's really fascinating. So that's the, that's the biblical reference to relics, but we also have reference to the care of them. John the Baptist, after being beheaded, the, the, the Jewish people went and took his body, and they buried it discreetly, but they knew where he was buried. Right. And they would have went to that place as a place of veneration. Um, are you so excited? I'm extremely excited. <laughs> and, 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 and how many people do you, you, you think are you expecting? Between 1 o'clock and 10 o'clock, um, we're probably expecting at minimum roughly 5,000 people for oh, the day. How exciting is mm -hmm. that? You know, it's and we're, extremely exciting. You know what? So, all right, so anything <laughs> else you'd like to share because you're going to be wrapping this up because I know you have to pick up kids. You I mentioned that you have kids. children waiting for you yeah. at the Sacred Heart, yes. Sacred Heart Academy. Yeah. Well, how can they reach you for more questions? They want to bring, you know, a bus 
full of people. People sure. are, you know, how's that going to go? They're going to be able to just walk into the church. Will it be escorted in? How's that? Because for protection, does that make sense? You know, you guys right. are. Like, how, how can they find out more about it? Yeah. In other words, well, we're accessible online. You just Google Sacred Heart Church, Grand Rapids, and we have a very easy website. It's extremely accessible. So you can find out anything you want just by doing that. We live in the Google age. <laughs> yeah. So that's very easy to do.